Welcome to Daughters of India Season 2. In our last season, we spoke about Dr. Aruna Sinha, the girl who conquered Mount Everest. Savitri Bai Phule, the light in darkness. Lata Mangeshkar, the nightingale of India. Rani Lakshmi Bai, the warrior queen. Tessie Thomas, Agni Patri. Sita, Bharat Ki Beti. Aruna Roy, daughter of the dust. Ahilya Bai Holkar, the philosopher queen. Indra Nui, the girl who broke the glass ceiling. And Cornelia Suraj, the first woman lawyer of India. This Sunday, I, Anaya, will tell you about Sarojini Naidu, the Bharatiya Kokila. A poet, a freedom fighter, an activist, an orator, and an administrator, Sarojini Naidu, also remembered as the Nightingale of India, is one of the most revered personalities of the 20th century. Sarojini Naidu was one of the first women to join India's freedom struggle against the British. She was the first female president of the Indian National Congress and after independence, she became the first woman governor of Uttar Pradesh. Throughout her career, Sarojini Naidu worked for the dignity of the common man and the education and emancipation of women by actively encouraging the setting up of orphanages and schools for girls. She also urged the student community to stand united against racial and communal discrimination. Sarojini Naidu died on the 2nd of March 1949, but she will always be remembered as one of the founders of modern, secular India. Born on the 13th of February, 1879 in Hyderabad to distinguished Bengali parents, Sarojini was an exceptional student with knowledge of Urdu, Telugu, English, Bengali and Persian. Her remarkable passion for writing from an early age earned her a scholarship to study abroad. Her creative skills led to the publication in 1905 of her first volume of poetry, The Golden Threshold. Naidu joined the Indian independence movement in 1905. She soon met other leaders such as Gopal Krishna Gokhale, Rabindranath Tagore, Mahatma Gandhi and was inspired to work with them. Between 1915 and 1918, Naidu travelled to different regions in India, delivering lectures on social welfare, emancipation of women and nationalism. She also helped establish the Women's Indian Association in 1917. In 1917, Naidu also accompanied her colleague, Annie Besant, who was the president of Home Rule League and Women's Indian Association to present the Advocate Universal Suffrage in front of the Joint Select Committee in London. In 1919, Naidu again went to London with the All India Home Rule League as a part of her continued efforts to advocate for freedom from the British rule. Upon her return to India in 1920, she joined Gandhi's Satyagraha movement. Naidu said in her address, In the battle for liberty, fear is one unforgivable treachery and despair, the one unforgivable sin. Naidu also presided over East African Indian Congress session in South Africa. She was arrested along with other Congress leaders, including Gandhi, Jawaharlal Nehru, and Madan Mohan, for participating in a 1930 salt march. Sarojini was one of the major figures of the civil disobedience movement and the Quit India movement of Mahatma Gandhi. She faced repeated arrests by British authorities during that time and even spent over 21 months in jail. Sarojini Naidu also led an active literary life and attracted notable Indian intellectuals to her famous salon in Bombay, now Mumbai, 
her first volume of poetry, The Golden Threshold, 1905, was followed by The Bird of Time, 1912, and in 1914, she was elected a Fellow of the Royal Society of Literature. Her collective poems, all of which she wrote in English, have been published under the titles The Sceptral Flute, 1928, and The Feather of Dawn, 1961. Her work as a poet in English has been praised by leading Indian personalities including Rabindranath Tagore and Jawaharlal Nehru, which led Mahatma Gandhi to name her the Nightingale of India. During the plague epidemic in India, the British government awarded her a medal for her work. However, after the Jallianwala Bagh massacre, she returned it in protest. After India gained independence, Sarojini Naidu became the first woman governor and served as the governor of the United Provinces of Agra and Awadh from 1947 to 1949 till she died. It is not wrong to say that she was one of the most influential personalities of India and lived a glorious life. When people can't express through tongue, they choose to bleed through their pen. Becoming a writer isn't easy though. Single emotions, but numeral styles, abundant ideas, and infinite techniques of communicating. Only a writer can do this. And so was Sarojini Naidu, who was given the title of Nightingale of India because of her major contribution to the field of poetry, which contained English words, but Indian soul. A country's greatness lies in its undying ideals of love and sacrifice that inspire the mothers of the race. Who inspires you? Please send me the names of inspirational people around you. Thank you.